Hey guys, Foxit here. Welcome back to another brand new and fantastic video. And today I'm going to be doing you guys a favor and teaching you how to use Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, I'm not really going to necessarily tell you like how to do all the specific things because one, I'm not going to remember all of them. And two, I figured if I just take you to a tutorial on how I edit my videos, one, it'll be directed to people who do videos the way I do it, like um, old, like live commentaries or funny videos like Dunky or Kyori, if you ever heard of those guys. If you're doing videos like that, this will be directly directed to you. So that'll be a benefit. And plus, it'll be in a streamlined fashion. You know, I'm not going to have to make a whole lesson plan, stuff like that. I'm just basically teaching you how I do my things. Um, if you haven't watched one of my videos yet, one of my recent videos from, I believe, um, this year, 2016, go watch one of them and you'll, and you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll kind of see how I do it. You'll see I have an intro. You'll see I have some jump cuts. And then you'll see I have an outro. I'm going to be teaching you how I do all that stuff. Now, the first thing that you have when you when you open Adobe, Adobe Premiere Pro is you have Welcome to Adobe Premiere Pro. And you have three options. You have to open a new project, which is self-explanatory. You can open a project that you already have open, and you can request help, which that's pretty much useless. So what I'm going to do is I have a Black Ops 3 Zombies video I'm remaking, which is the, gi the giant. It's a high round attempt. So there's not a lot of jump cuts, unfortunately, but I can make some. So what I'm going to do is we're going to open a new project. <laughs> And what you have here is you have different sections right here. You have video, which is display format. I like to do this in time code, which is like 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, uh, 30 minutes, an hour. Frames, which is individual frames. You have feet plus frames plus 35 millimeters, which I don't use these personally because I don't find uh, a lot of use in measuring in feet. I like to either do time code or frames, but I don't personally use frames a lot. I use time code, honestly. And display format. Just use audio samples. Not a lot of people understand what audio is, so just use just use audio sample. Capture format, just go in HDV, just that's what I like to do. Uh, for scratch disks, this you can set wherever you want. You can set it for uh, your documents folder. I have these per I have these personal custom uh, locations where I put them, just so that way I don't lose track of them. They're just it's <coughs> it's kind of like where you store your files. That's why I like to do that. So that's what scratch disks are. I'll do a video on that sometime later. Um, and then you'll be able to name the tiles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do... July 4th. Oh yeah, if happy 4th of July, actually. Then we can do we can do location where we want to do that. I'm actually going to put this wherever I want to. So chunk... No, that's not what I want. I want a temp media folder clips. Nope. Current videos. Yeah, this is where I wanted it. You press OK, and what you want to do is you want to do, uh, these are just presets, although there's no preset that really um, actually lets us do, do anything that's good, so what we want to do is we want to just do a standard 48 kilohertz, just for now, and it'll open, uh, it'll open a, a sequence. Now a sequence is kind of like just how, uh, it's basically a preset, based on what sort of dimensions you're working with. Your time code and stuff like that. How the FPS at which you're working with. So if you, I don't like to use this preset, I'd like to delete it. And so what I want to do is I'm gonna oh, is I'm gonna import a new item. I'm actually gonna import two things. I'm gonna do the video audio, which I had the giant high round fail the fourth of July. That's the one I want to. That's that's what I want to import. You can also press Control I, which is what I personally do, just to make things faster. Or you can right click here and do import, which I don't use that pretty much, but so I go to clips, OBS, and this is the one I wanted. <clears throat> so what you're gonna want to do to make sure that everything that the works that the workspace you're using is the same as your video clip, you wanna right click it and do new sequence from clip. And that'll and that'll bring up bring up this. This is your preview monitor. This is basically where you can do a go to preview. So if you press space, which is to play, you also have this stuff here. You can see that you have that. This is your you can add a marker there just in case you want to label which where the intro is, where the extra is, this is the mark in, mark out. This is the furthest. So if you want to go to the very beginning, you can go press this. This is a rewind button. This is your play. This is a step forward, this is to go to the outs. These aren't really important. Although this is important if you want to take a screenshot, I guess. If you, if you want to take a screenshot of whatever you're working with, then that's, then that's great. Um, 
<coughs> depending on what computer you're working on, you can either change it to full. This changes. This changes the. This, this changes the resolution. So, if you're working on a very um, low power computer, like not so high end, you can change this so that way. It's when you when you play, it plays at only half the resolution. So if I play, see if the quality becomes less. Change to one fourth. It eventually becomes worse. But I like I have a very high end computer, so I can change it to full. That's what I like to do. So, this is a media mon. This is a media monitor. This is where you can edit some of the media you have. I'll explain this later. And this is your browser. Uh, this, this is your browser monitor. This is where you have all of your media, and you can sh see where you open all the, all your media. This gives you info on it selected. This is all the effects, markers, history. That's what I like to do. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you how to make my intro. Now, if you don't know, I already actually have a pre-made intro, which is this one. It's this one. This is this is my this is my intro. So I'm just gonna leave this right here and press play. That's basically my intro. But I can show you how to remake that intro. So what I'm gonna do is to get the word out like this. It says, "See, this is my intro." So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import a new. We're gonna make a new item. Which you go to new item and you go to title, or you can press Control T, and you can just name this whatever you want, and you can edit all these. This is pretty obvious. So we're gonna go to intro, and we like to do. Is I'm gonna actually gonna move this right here, so we're gonna just do whatever you want. I like to just this is kind of like where you have. No, I don't want to do that actually. So this is kind of where you have uh, where you want to put your text. I have a font called Concurrent Sans, and I like to do just Foxwood and put this in the middle and increase the. And increase the default font. I'm gonna put this up 420 because why the fuck not? Actually, that's not what I wanted. What I want to edit this. This is where you can edit how where you want to put it. This is the X position. This is the Y position, which is where you can edit how up and down you want to go. This is rotation, which I'm not gonna do right now. So this is basically what we have. Now we have a title card now. So I'm gonna put this right here. And what we can do is we can do some we can do effects. So we're gonna go into effect controls. Make sure you have the clip selected by clicking by clicking the clip itself. Go to motion. So let's look at my clip again and see how I do it. You can see it kind of just fades in and it goes to wherever that it goes to wherever that is. So we're gonna go to the first frame right now, which you can use by using the arrow keys. So you see I so you see down here I'm going by individual frames. I'm at eight seconds right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to um, scale, which is what I like to do. I like to go around right here. And what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to use something called keyframes, which is basically it'll be slow explanatory. But so we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna click this toggle animation, and we're gonna go to about here, so that way because it kind of pauses a bit, so we're gonna up the scale to about wherever we want it to. So we're gonna have it about ninety. I'm gonna give it a couple more seconds. Make go make it go up to one hundred fifty five, and then. Go right here and we'll bring it all the way out and then we'll we're gonna go one frame behind we're gonna put the opacity right here and then the next frame is gonna be zero so if we see how it looks let's see how it looks right now it's kind of slower than usual you, you have to have the frames we can we can adjust the keyframes a bit we'll put this right here We'll move this one right here, right about there, and we'll make this go a bit faster. So I'm gonna keep this one. I'm actually gonna go a bit slower, and so I'm gonna just kind of zoom in a bit. So, and we'll bring this one over here. So let's see how this looks now. Oh, whoops! This one's supposed to be 100%. This one's supposed to be 100% still too. See how it looks now. Oh, whoops, that's not supposed to happen. That's supposed to be zero. Oh, no. This is supposed to be zero. This is 100. I did that right, right? Okay. 
So you see, this is where all key our keyframes. I don't know if you can really understand this. I don't really know how to explain it, but this is what I like to do. So you can kind of see how I did that. We basically remade my intro like that. So I don't need it because I already have a pre-made intro with audio. So we're just gonna. So now I'm gonna trim this too because I kind of have all of this area. So I'm gonna import my voice audio. Now I have two separate programs which I use to record. I use OBS, which is this program which I'm using to record this tutorial right now. Hi. This records the video, and I use another program called Reaper, which records the audio. As you can see, this is my audio right now. This is I've been recording for quite a while. Um, I like to use a separate program because I use a special kind of microphone. I use an audio interface with a special condenser microphone that I use. I don't use a USB microphone. So I don't. Also, the benefit of using two programs, one to record voice, one to record audio, is that if you record your audio, your video, your voice audio, and your game audio in one audio file, you can only control how loud each of them are before you record. You can't change it after you record. If I have two audio files two audio files, one for my in-game audio and one for my voice audio. I, after I record it, I can still change how loud it is just in case if I make the game audio louder than my voice, I can just turn up the voice and turn down the game audio. And there we go. Now, for a program I like to, I'd like to recommend is something called Audacity. It's free and it doesn't look as good as this program, which is called Reaper. This is $60. You don't need this. This is for like recording like music and stuff like that. If you don't know, I'm an audio engineer. I like to record metal music. So I use this frequently to record guitars, drums, bass. You don't need something high-end like this. You can use Reaper. It's free. Just use it to record your voice. However, we're going to go back to this. So this is my second. This is, this is my uh, voice audio, and this is my in-game audio. What I like to do is I like to sync my audio. So I'm going to go to the point... I actually sync this by um, pressing the M key. That's what that's what I did. So where is it? I'm gonna move this a bit more out. I'm gonna find the point in where I I start pressing M. Or where is it? Up? Oh, no, that's not it. So it's about right here. So I'm gonna use my arrow keys to go back to the beginning of the frame. And I'm gonna sync it with my voice audio because I actually say I actually just kind of say da a bit. So I'm gonna sync this back. You can see the little preview of where it is. So I'm gonna move that back. But I'm gonna zoom in more so I can get this ex almost exact. So if you play it, <coughs> <coughs> oh that's not it actually. Whoops. Da, da. There we go. It's somewhere right there. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, now where's the first one? I need to find the first one. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Oh, I, I didn't mean to press that. Whoops. Let's go to the beginning. I mean, this is to teach him navigation and stuff like that. So, the first one's around here. I think this is the first one. Yeah, this is the first one right here. So, let me go back again to the first frame. So, it's right about here. My voice is right there, so I'm going to just take this back and move it more around right here let's put it more like right oh if you double click it brings that up let's uh, move it right there let's see this that's the sync my video audio so that you can see I do that so now what we can do I can skip all this I like to go to the beginning of where I'm playing so the first frame is somewhere around is around here so I'm just going to, oh, let me undo that. So what we're going to do is we're going to just cut all this out. What I like to do is I like to transform these into two separate clips, and then I will just delete this. Now, how you can delete these is that you see this uh, highlighted area. You can, you can press these. You can just left click on them so you can select the tracks. So what you want to do is you want to just select the tracks you want to you want to um, delete. And what you want to do is you want to use this razor tool, which is you can use C. You can press it right here go about exactly right there and it deletes all the tracks into one separate into separate tracks this is one these this is one track right here and this is a separate track right here or to undo you do control z or you can just press control k it does the same thing and does for both tracks that's what i like to do i like to do for both i like to press control k so then what you want to do is you want to just left left shift all the tracks and then you just press delete and so our intro is all the way up there. And what you want to do is you want to press Shift Delete on all these two. So you can just drag these wherever you want them to, drag it to the beginning. So we can see we have a nice, uh, so we can have a nice intro. Right? See? And it's kind of phasing right there. 
So we don't want this. We don't want this to suddenly just just uh, fade, just to just pop in like this. So we're gonna fade the track in. What I like to do is I like to go to the beginning of the frame and then go up to about two seconds, usually. So this is if this this is our frame, right? So this is the frame right. This is at sixty frames. So this is two frames from going to one second. So we're gonna go to two fifty eight because that's two seconds in. Go to 258, and this is where the 2 marker is. So we're going to make a keyframe for opacity. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the pen tool and then click this. So we made a keyframe right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the end, or right here, and just drag this to make to make another keyframe, which controls the opacity. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag it down. So you see the opacity starts at 0, and it fades for 2 seconds all the way up to up to two seconds, it goes to 100% opacity. I'm gonna do the same for my voice because I kind of heard that. So this is for decibels. So you see we're at we're at we're at zero, um, we're at plus or minus zero decibels. That means it's around neutral. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bring this down to negative infinite uh, decibels. And so if we play, we can see this just fades in pretty nicely. See, and just fades in nicely. That's all we do. And it just plays back very nicely. Unfortunately, I don't have to do any jump cuts. There's one I have to do because my mom walked into the room. That foul stick. So I'm gonna go find that right now. I'm just gonna go listen to it all just for a couple for a couple seconds. I'm just gonna listen. Try to try to find it. Is hi. Welcome to the video. All right. So redoing what I it's said. It's right here. Redoing what I said. I was gonna do was like the video. I can hear it around here. I can tell that my voice isn't really that loud. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring down the the video audio the video audio just a little bit. I'm gonna bring this. I'm gonna adjust this by around a couple of decibels. So what I do, I like to right click the track, and I like to go to audio gain, and set the gain to about minus. You can double click to actually type it in. I like to do around minus fifteen, and then we'll right click this one and bring this up by about three decibels. Oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so we're gonna right click this one, go to audio gain, set to that, and we're gonna go to this one, right click this, and go to audio gain, and set this to th plus three decibels. So let's, let's see this. Welcome back to another brand new and fantastic video, and today we're gonna be I doing. Think still here. Uh, I can still hear the game audio. The Although I think I can I can increase the volume a bit more, so we're gonna set this to about ten instead. Let's see how this sounds. Actually, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna double click this. Minus ten. Giant. Now I already know I already released the video, but yeah, that's pretty fine. <coughs> As you know, I said I'd be redoing it because so you see my my voice audio isn't that loud. Like that, so you it, really my, my video hear audio stuff, so louder significantly. I'm just gonna be doing video that audio video right now. We'll be talking about the same stuff I talked about in that video, which was. You still want to be able to hear the video audio, so we can hear all the gunshots and all the nice stuff like that. But where is this? This is. So I'm gonna find the part where I want to cut out again. Oh, I can't seem to find it anywhere. Redoing what I said I was gonna do. Oh, I should get this. It's around here. Back on topic. Okay, I am getting super distracted. All right, so <coughs> need some water. What I wanted to talk about. Yeah, sure. Put it. Yeah, sure. Because because the game games I play because. So I'm just gonna cut this over here. I'm gonna press. I'm gonna highlight all these switches. Are all highlights? So I'm gonna do Control. Actually, what I could no. I'm gonna instead. I'm just gonna bring down the volume right here. So I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna use the Pen key. I'm gonna press here. I'm gonna do another Pen key, and then bring it down to negative zero decibels. To bring it back to the same place where we were, about right there. This fade in my audio, and then we're gonna go back to here where I started talking again, and then bring the, bring this back up. And we're gonna bring this to about. You gotta be careful with this because you don't really know where exactly it's gonna be. So let's bring this about right here. This is negative sixty nine. You can't, you can't get exact with these. You, you you can never get exact with the pen key except if you zoom in really loud. But I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna bring this back down. So now we can't really we can't hear my voice now because yes. Piece of water. <laughs> I 
what I wanted to talk about was the games I played. Because so my video kind of cuts out right there. I actually put this too high. I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna go back right here. This is where I wanted to do it. So I'm gonna bring this back up to negative 69 decibels. And this is the n negative decibel. So now we can hear me talk right here. I am bad at this. I am bad at live comms. It's an awkward it's... cut, but it's a necessary cut. So we're gonna go back to the selection tool. And there's nothing else I really have to do. There's nothing else I have to cut, except I can just preview just, just to watch for any um unsynchronies. What to do. I can hear the game audio and it's not it's not um, out of sync because there's a problem with mp4 files usually because mp4 files are usually recorded in what we call a variable bitrate and basically what that means is that um, your, vi your, your, your video will be encoded at a higher bitrate when there's more complex things going on such as like fire and explosion stuff like that stuff like that and it's gonna record at a slower bitrate when there's less complex things going on, so I just like just snow and stuff like that, you know. So Adobe Premiere Pro does not like variable bitrate, um, does not like variable bitrate uh, files. So what you want to do is this one moment is you want to um, basically just record at constant bitrate, which is a f uh, which is a format that we like to do, which, which which is what we like to use. So what I like to do is I like to go to my program, I like to go to settings. And there's something right here called use CBI, which is constant bit rates. So you don't want to use variable bit rate, you want to use constant bit rates. So I'm going to go back, just, just a heads up, because MP4 files usually use constant bit rate. I know some other files use uh, variable bit rate, but it's usually MP4 files that use uh, variable bit rate. So that's basically the end of this video. So I die around right here. So we're only going to cut this out where I stop talking. Stay foxy guys and toodles. I'm gonna give this about. I'm gonna leave this about right. Let oh. me listen to this again. Stay foxy, guys, and toodles. Right, right there. So we're gonna press Control K again, and I'm gonna shift click all these and delete this unnecessary stuff. And I'm gonna import my outro. This is my outro right here. There's no, there's no video file. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave this right here. So Stay foxy, guys, and toodles. It just kind of does, it's just that. It just kind of does, it doesn't fade into the next. So if you see my normal outro, you see it fades in to the next clip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an effect, which we're gonna go into the effects uh, the effects uh, section right here, which is in the same media browser uh, monitor. We're gonna go to video transitions. We're gonna go to dissolve, and we're gonna go to cross dissolve. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just hold this, hold left click, and drag it to about right here. And now we have a, a crossfade. I like to drag this on for a bit more so what you can do is you can go to where the cross you can see this point right here we're just going to drag this a bit more I'm going to drag it to about half a, half a second let's see this there we go I'm going to show you how to do this too basically you don't need to do that but in a separate video I'll show you how to do this I'm not going to show you how to do that because that's my personal little secret or you can do a video on, you can find the video yourself but then I'm going to add the music what I like to do is I want to go you, you know my actual music, it's, I forgot who it's by, but I'm going to go to my audio folder, uh, music, where is it, it's, where's my, oh, small radio, but this, this is my, so what we're going to do is we're going to, I find a specific point in where I want to, I want to find, I, I, I like to use a specific point in which I like to, uh, just not use, uh, to, for it to fade in, so it's around right here, I'm going to listen just very closely. <laughs> So it's around here, I'm going to press Control K, and we're going to separate this to see if it's right. Let's see. Oh, I I can do that a bit more. Let's see, it's around right here. It's around right here, Control K, separate this a bit, let's listen to this. What I like to do is I like to get this at a specific point. I want this to, uh... I wanted to get it around right there, so let's see. Boxy guys and toodles. I can I can separate this just a little bit more. That's about right there. Same with this. 
I'm gonna drag this over. This this isn't as maybe, so stay foxy guys and toodles. Oh, it took out the it took out the cross is all. So we're gonna put this back. Bring this back to around. Oh, what the heck? We're gonna drag this on for about a couple more. So about half a second, uh, half a minute. So then I, I play this right here, guys and toodles. I know, awesome outro, right? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the out, so and go back to the last part. I actually, it's, I actually recorded this at a very weird place. So I'm gonna go back to the last frame. The last frame's right here. So I'm gonna unselect this. I'm gonna do Control K. I'm gonna delete this, and I like to give a two second fade out. So I'm actually gonna delete this too. So just press K, delete this because I don't need that. So we're at 12 seconds and 27 frames. I'm gonna go to 10 seconds, 27 frames. That's two seconds before this, and I'm gonna do the pen. And you guessed that I'm gonna just go do the pen tool, do a fade out. I'm gonna press it right here, and then do a fade out right here. I don't need to do this because this has no audio. I'm gonna go to about, uh, that's not right. I'm gonna go to about right there. And fade it right there. There we go. And that's the beginning of the video. I'm gonna bring this back to about right here. And what I like to do is, I, I like to I like the, the outro music to kick in when I say, if you enjoy, if you enjoyed this video at all, please leave a like down below. So I'm gonna find that session. What you can do to mute, uh, Audio is you have this uh, you have this icon right here. You can press that. Same for video, toggle track output, and this is muted right Come now. On. So you see, you see That's that there's cool. video right, there's audio right here, but you can't hear it because I well, muted it. At least it. I beat my Press highest again. round by two rounds. There you go. So I'm gonna go find where I say if you like this video at all, where I start my outro. I'm pretty proud of myself. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video at all. Oh, if you like like this video at all. So it's about right here. So I'm just gonna press, I'm gonna unselect this, I'm gonna press Control K and delete this because I don't need that. And I'm gonna have the video, the audio fade in at around, I'm gonna drag this down and I'm gonna have this fade up to negative 10 right here. If you like this video at all, please leave a like down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you subscribe for more Black Ops 3 Zombies videos, and I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be. So, stay foxy guys and toodles. There you go, that's not that hard. So, we're actually going to go back to about 10. And I'm going to increase this audio a bit more, because this isn't, this is kind of, this is kind of bugging me. So, we're going to go to audio gain. Oh, something happened. I'm gonna go to audio gain and set to about six instead. Let's just, let's listen to this. Let's see how let's see how much better this is. Myself. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video at all. If you like this video at all, please should leave a like down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you subscribe for more Black Ops 3 Zombies videos. Kind of so fades in the next video whenever that may be. Clip. So, and the busy guys and toodles. And the outro music gets louder when the outro kicks in. So we're gonna go to the outro and see how this fades out. And then the video ends right there. So this is basically our finished video. I don't need to do any jump cuts because I need to show the whole thing for a zombies, uh, for a zombies gameplay. So if you have jump cuts, I already taught you how to do that. If there's anything I miss, let me know. Like if you want to know how to do certain things, except my outro, because I'll have another video for that. But um, yeah, I showed you how to do my intro. I showed you how to use key markers. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just press Control Save because you need to do that just to save the project. You should you should automatically have an option where it automatically saves once per five minutes, per ten minutes, per hour, whenever you want it to. Just press Control S slot because maybe the power might go out or you might actually click something that you didn't want to do and you can't undo it. You want to have some point in which you can restore it to. So I like to press Control Save or go to Save. Control S. So now we're done with this. So you can go to export and media. I have a preset automatically. So this is the output you want. If you want to record the whole thing, you want to go to source range and work area. 
and do fits, obviously. And then I like to take this up to, to the beginning. So this is the beginning of the area. So what we want to do is we want to go to formats. Now YouTube likes FLV, whichever it is, the FLV. It, it'll it'll stream faster, but I like to use MP4 because if I want to preview it, if I want to watch it myself, then I like to do that. So we go to MPEG, MPEG4. Sorry, I don't want to do MPEG4. I want to do H.264. H.264 is the point we want to go. This 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 will be a little bit slower to upload, but it'll be worth it because it'll be at a higher resolution than FLV. I'm going to, going to go to presets. This is my custom preset I made. It's called YouTube HD um, 1060. I'm going to show you all this stuff. So Gaussian blur is just a kind of a blur around the entire video, which you don't need to do. Please don't do that. So if you're recording at 9, 10, 920 by 1080, you're going to do all. You're going to change all this stuff. You can double click to change whatever it is, and you can. This will maintain the frame aspect ratio when resizing. So please click this. Frame rate is 60. Sometimes you won't be able to change it. Sometimes it'll give you messages you can't change it. So when you, you want, what you want to do is you want to go to, just skip that for now. Go to Square Pixels 1.0. Go to NTSC. Go to make sure the profile is set to main, not high. That's a problem. So go to go to main. Go to level five. If you do that render at maximum depth, that's gonna take so long. Just don't just don't do that. Of course, bitrate and clean. We wanna do constant bit rates. And then go to target bit rate is around five megabits per second. You want to make sure you do that. So just go to double click this, go to all the way down to five, because that'll be more than enough. Keyframe distance, I like to do 60. Don't click maximum render quality. Use frame blending because that way it'll make sure that each frame won't necessarily just cut one to the other. It kind of uses a bit of technology to make it seem more smooth, smoother. And use previews because this will make it faster. Because if you already use the previews that it uses to watch, uh, to watch your monitor, then you'll be good to go. And this is the estimated uh, file size. So this is about two gigabytes around there, around two point something gigabytes. So then. You can press export, which there we go, and just wait until this goes 100% and you're done. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'll do that later, but that's about it, guys. That's how I record my and edit my videos. So if you like this video at all, please leave a like down below. If you're subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more editing tutorials, and I'll see you in the next video whenever that may be. So stay foxy, guys, and toodles.